How's it going? Today we'll be comparing the cameras on the Pixel 7 Pro versus the Galaxy S22 Plus. Alright, let's do a quick microphone test. I'm testing 1212. This is what it sounds like on the Pixel 7 Pro with speech enhancement on. Testing 1212. This is what it sounds like on a Galaxy S22 Plus. Alright, let's do another mic test in a more noisy environment. Testing 1212. This is what it sounds like on the Pixel 7 Pro with speech enhancement on. Testing 1212. This is what it sounds like on a Galaxy S22 Plus. Today I'm gonna head into the city to grab some lunch at this Singapore street food food court. They have a lot of options there and I've been there like once or twice. So I want to try out some more food. With the last video when I did my first camera comparison with the Pixel 7 Pro, the HDR was on and it kind of looked too fuzzy while doing this type of vlogging shot. So this time I have it off to see if there's any more or any crazy noise within the black areas. And one more thing I really like about the Pixel 7 Pro is that speech enhancement is really good. I feel like I don't really need an external microphone to actually capture good audio. Now looking at these two images, I feel like the HDR is something that you can see right away between these two. Sometimes the Galaxy S22 Plus does better and sometimes the Pixel 7 Pro does better. But I'll say that the Pixel 7 Pro does end up being more consistent than the S22 Plus. For the shadows, it's fine. I would say the highlights is where you can see the biggest difference. If you're planning to shoot low light video, I would stick with the wide because for ultra wide it's not that great. And here you can see that it's just more noise on a pixel versus the S22 Plus. When you're looking at these pictures during daytime, the colors look very similar where you can just see the biggest difference is the highlights. So if you want really consistent photos where everything is well lit or well exposed, then the Pixel 7 Pro is going to be the better choice. Galaxy phones are known to have really punchy and vibrant colors, but looking at these two in general, they look very similar besides the red color and the bluer sky on the Pixel. For low light, they look very similar. On a Galaxy, I feel like it's a bit cleaner because of the contrastier look or the darker look that hides the noise better. Now for telephoto, I decided to compare it at 5x and 30x. They both look fine on the 5x, but at 30x, the Pixel 7 Pro to me looks much better. It's cleaner, it's crispier, and even though it's at 30x is not the best, it still looks better. And by now, as you notice, the highlights on a Galaxy throughout all the lenses, it's a bit too much and I feel like it's kind of overexposed over the Pixel 7 Pro. And shooting 5x for video, for me, I feel like the Pixel 7 Pro is just slightly sharper, so I am leaning towards that. Now for max zoom, 12x on the Galaxy, 20x on a Pixel, and to me, I do like the Pixel better. It's less noise and it seems cleaner, and you can zoom in more. Next up is the video portrait slash cinematic mode. For me, I do prefer the Pixel just because I can shoot other than human subjects, whereas on a Galaxy, it has to be a person. But it's not perfect though. It does have some trouble like at the back of my head, as you can see here. Moving on to portrait mode, One X looks the best on both phones, although it is wider on a Galaxy versus a bit more zoomed in on a Pixel. And whenever I use the telephoto option or zoomed in option, the Pixel never looked that great because it's really a digital crop and, and it doesn't look good. It's so digitized. On the Galaxy, it's very blurry or soft. To me, it always feels like it misses focus when I'm using it on a 3X. For selfies, they both look great. It depends on which one you prefer. I feel like the Galaxy tends to focus more on exposure and it does have that HDR look. Whereas on a Pixel, it seems more natural and realistic, especially being the shadows a bit darker like how it would be. Next thing is Instagram. Of course, the highlights is going to be the same issue here. Pixel is still more exposed. And I noticed while shooting video and when you save it, the Pixel 7 Pro actually keeps it as one clip, whereas on the Galaxy, it's multiple 15 second clips. And I've been saying this for a while now, whenever you save the clip, it gets really pixelated in the first three seconds or so. So it happens multiple times in these little clips on a Galaxy, whereas on a Pixel, it only happened once. So it is much cleaner, but if you look at the low light footage, the Pixel does look more noisy. Now for photos, the Galaxy tends to look very saturated on the Instagram camera app, but for some reason this time around, it looks so much better. It looks more delicious versus the Pixel 7 Pro. It does look a bit more bland and boring. 
even though in real life the coloring of the food doesn't look that vibrant, I would say it's in between between these two pictures. The last thing I want to mention is the performance while taking pictures in low light, both in the stock camera app and the Instagram camera app. I do notice that the Pixel does seem more responsive right after hit the shutter button, whereas on a Galaxy, it's just a beat slower. It's hard to really recognize it when you're just shooting it by themselves, but shooting these two side by side, that's something I did notice. So let me know your thoughts down below and which one you like better. And if you want to see more camera comparisons with these two phones, I will have the playlist up right here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.